What the hell is this place anyway? All right, let's give this another try. I'm just going to run straight back down there and see if that same crash occurs. And if it does, we'll have to start planning and or scheming on how to get around it. I'm, the only thing I can think of is the fact that we sequence broke the sewers, just like the famous Wolves Can't Fly album title. Uh, that it messes up those G-mutants for some reason. So if worse comes to worse, we might have to go to that save before I fought Billy B and, you know, do the sewers first, which means we'd have to fight Billy B again. And I've already proven that I'm real good at it. <laughs> and I'm just saying. God, this little snub nose shotgun, it breaks my heart. We need that long barrel. Long barrel is long. Didn't anyone tell uh Robert Kendo. When you play as Robert Kendo in the Ghost Survivors, he has this shotgun uh, that's missing the extended barrel. So you can shoot it slightly faster with that uh, shoulder stock. Alright. I'm not going to bother trying to grab that green herb. I'm just going to calmly climb up on this ledge. Okay. So far, so good. This man gets up in the B scenario, but not anymore. Hey, idiot. Fuck you. Yeah, that's right. Go back down into sewer hell. Nobody's fucking impressed by you, boy. Alright. We got five spark shots. More than enough to kill any G-mutant that moves. We need to get past three of them. Well, technically two. We could run by the third one, although there is a new zombie added. A fat chubs rises up. So. It's part three. The fat chub rises. Hey, dumb shit, I already seen you. Well, one bonus to that uh, shotgun not having a long barrel is it stays out of the sewer water for the most part. Not that you should notice that because you shouldn't be looking at Claire's ass. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, what's the plan? I want him... I was hoping to weaken them with a grenade and then killing them with the spark shot. I'm, I'm hoping to only have to use one spark shot bolt per G mutant would be the ideal. So that wakes him up mad. Where is your eyeball shoulder at, sweetheart? What are you fucking doing? What is this animation? About to piss me off. Boom! In the business we call that graveyard dead. I can't spin the camera around to show you Claire cradling this thing because we're in a flashlight zone. Can't be a cinematic in the flashlight zone, unfortunately. Hey, beautiful. Where are you fucking going? Well, he fucking saw what we did to that last one and decided he didn't want none of it. Fuck you. Yeah. Let's shoot him with one of them. Let's shoot him with a couple of these. I was hoping to expose the uh, eyeball and do max damage. But what can you do? Not quite enough to kill him. How much fucking HP you got? Beautiful. I can't believe the fucking thing's still coming at us. There. My god, the shit you gotta go through. What's a working class gal gotta do? And I still got to get back to the seventh heaven. Son. Marlene's there making the most fucking mixed drinks for that crowd. A red herb for me, you shouldn't oughta. Alright, here's the plan. We fucking kneecap Fat Chubbs and run by this asshole. Oh no, Fat Chubbs, you got me. I'm so shocked. Asshole. Okay, there are two zombies in this region now in, in second mode. That's one. We've only got one shotgun shell. Corbin, my man. Hmm. If only I had my 1911. Brothers named Kevin need not apply when it comes to the 1911. All right, what do you become? Ooh, flame rounds is just what I needed. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> I can just light up one of these fellas. 
Where yeah, there he is. They added an additional. Oh hell yeah! Perfectly timed combat knife, son. The randomizer felt bad for us for everything we were put through yesterday, so now it's spoiling us with items. Uh, he, I don't think he gets up till after you grab the king plug, but we can make sure that he has no legs and arms. Just use this whole fucking knife on him. Oh, we used a decent amount of it. I mean, how long would one of these knives last in real life? I'm just saying. My immersion is fucking ruined. Uh, so the queen plug. Boom. We can actually sequence break this because we have the king plug. So we ain't even got to deal with this crowd yet. Where are you at? For once, I was aiming the camera angle like this for an actual gameplay reason. If you fuck, get back up. Fuck you! Acid rounds and dives. He turned into one of them Return of the Living Dead fuckers. If we want to free up an inventory spot, we should do this. And put that one flame round in here. And there you go. I like this style of grenade launcher more than the drum fed. There's something more romantic about it. Let's see what the spark shot became. Well, gunpowders are a good thing to have. And now we can open this secret shortcut. Oosh. We actually don't need the king and queen plug anymore because we've already beat Billy B. And opened the gate. Our inner chakra. Alright, last item. What we got? Well, looks like this trip was worth it, boys. We've got the good shotgun now. Hell yeah, justice is going to be dealt. It gave us one additional shotgun shell when we put that long barrel on there, too. All right, cool. What a fun adventure we had. I'm going to leave them fucking plugs here. First time in history this door has been useful. I think that door is just there for if you were trying to get the spark shot or the flamethrower normally and you don't have enough inventory space. So you take these plugs or whatever and you just get the hell out. And then you can come back and easily pick the shit up after you've gone to the item box. It's not ideal, but what can you do? How many spark shots have we got left? Three. I think we'll be all right. Fat Chubbs persists. Well, I've got one additional shotgun shell just for you, Fat Chubbs. God bless your heart. <laughs> he fucking sunk into the misery mire. God bless him. I uh, can't help but notice that Jamie tent went somewhere else. Hopefully to hell. All right, here's the plan. We're going to acid round. Where are you at? I can sense. Oh, well, we can just run past that one. Hey, buddy, boy, buddy, boy, ain't you fucking beautiful? Popped out in front of me. And look, you brought your friend who I thought was 100% ignorable. All right, acid round. Acid round. Flame round. Spark shot. Boom. There's one graveyard dead. Oh no, he's shooting babies. I forgot they do that. They're like the uh, the bloopers in Mario 3. At least we didn't get poisoned. The bloopers in Mario 3 that uh, bring their kids and like launch them at you. So the ecosystem of the Mushroom Kingdom is horrifying when you think about it. Okay, I thought maybe you had fucked off the hell, but I guess they wouldn't have you. Even Hell's got standards. Pow! Smoke crit. Alright, there's one G mutant left. The one in the original area. We can avoid it using some clever jumping up on a ledge tech. And if we do get grabbed, we've got the rest of this knife. I'm not going to mess with that green herb. I'm scared it's going to crash. Well, should I? Why would it crash? Okay, you can't walk over there or it crashes the game. There's something to it. I was thought I was being <laughs> foolish thinking there was. Well, we're going to have to reload the last save and do that little part again. At least we know it's worth going over there because we want that damn shotgun part. 
All right, well now that we know what's going on in that area, we can prepare a better inventory selection. So let's think. We were doing all right with that. We didn't actually need the D-Valve, so I don't know why I brought it. Um, let's bring some kind of heal with us, just in case we uh, get hit with those poison babies. Uh, what would be the actual most useful items? Something to weaken those things as they come near us. Uh, yeah, I guess that would work. Damn, if only we had the flamethrower or the magnum. Uh, I hope that shit's in the lab. The submachine gun could be used to also uh, weaken them as they approach. I don't know how effective the acid rounds are against them is why I'm not as keen to just unload acid rounds in them. And such. Don't really have much 9mm to make that worth it. Yeah, let's grab this thing. If nothing else, we could use it on the zombies that we fought along the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because remember, we're leaving the uh, the King and Queen plug there, so they don't really count. Maybe we could go acid round submachine gun just to bust that pustule on their shoulder to expose the eyeball, and then maybe one spark shot will take them down. I feel like the acid rounds do damage over time, at least on regular zombies. So is that how that works? As much as I play this game, I don't like know all of the mechanics. We needed the T-handle because we didn't open that door yet. Oh, good God. <laughs> if only I'd have done that and then saved. But who could have known we'd be trapped in a game uh, locking hell. If we can't get past that initial part this time, we'll just have to... Uh, I don't know, we might have to forego the long barrel for the shotgun. I know just hearing me say those things is heartbreaking to you, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I got might have too much shit in my inventory. Well, I'm gonna be using up all that ammo. Yeah, I think it's okay. The long barrel will go on the shotgun. Of course, it'll make it take up two slots, so... I suppose in the long run, you're not necessarily saving ammo. Maybe this time the second G-Mutant won't, like, <laughs> wander off on his own. Uh, we've got a floating Mac 11. Next to our creamy thighs. What can you do? If I was really worried about uh, inventory space, I'd run all the way back and store that T-Valve again, but I'm not doing that. I think the most difficult part of this particular randomizer has been getting around the bugs and crap. Remember, that's a big gunpowder. So we can grab that afterwards. Alright, let's see if we can't do this again. Okay. Don't go anywhere near that fucking green earth. Climb out the water, shoot this man in the head. Well, somebody was real... Wow, somebody is extra unnecessarily tough today. Fuck you. Okay, I'd like to be rid of you so I don't have to worry about you when I'm coming through here later trying to not crash the game. But I think he goes underwater over there so that he can bums rush you when you try to leave. Yeah, clunk a climb. Acid round. Spark shot. And I was going to say, if that didn't kill him, pepper him with Mac 11. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Everything's cool. Yeah, you're real sneaky. Once again. Let's wake him up with this. Then we'll acid round him. Then we'll spark shot him. Yeah, we're doing uh, my, uh, Once again, <laughs> I see how Natsuki Subaru manages to pull it off, boys. Because every time we return by death or return by soft lock, or I guess that was more of a hard lock. Where are you fucking going, man? Don't start spewing out babies, my god. Now I got to kill all your young ones, too. Boys, howdy.
Bust that pustule. I don't think it actually hurt me. I think it was just more uh, animation played out. All right, we did some weakening. Let's see if we can't kill this fucking thing. Yeah, you got. It. That's more like it. I'm still surprised Fat Chubbs persisted last time because I guess we didn't completely blow his leg off. Because once again, if you can get a zombie in crawling status, uh. In a war, you know, an area with water, their program is just auto die. I guess the developers didn't feel like dealing with you having to avoid zombies in the water. It would be pretty fucking difficult. Okay, I think that was Fat Chubb's little OG oh, shit. I'm dead. Animation playing out. Fuck you and fuck your G mutant babies. Yeah. All right, that should be all of them. When we come back through. Healthier, wealthier, and wiser. We should be alright. And now we've got plenty of shotgun shells to deal with these uh, two zombies in here. Yes, sir, re Bob. The game, <laughs> the game lock it up. Best thing ever happened to me. Is how I'm going to lie to myself. So I don't feel so bad. For how I'm going to edit this shit together. Oh yeah, you were more flame rounds. That's right. Now we can put, oh yeah, they need to put the actual queen plug over here. Before we forget, shoot Fat Chubbs' head off. Don't forget it. Okay. Hmm. 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 Nah, this is the best way to do it. If it takes two shells, all the better, because then it means we free up an inventory slot. <laughs> and considering we're about to slap the long barrel on this thing, I think that's a good thing. Apply a long barrel to your pump action shotgun. It's a good thing. Okay. And there we go. We've got that good shotgun. Excuse me, yes, uh, I ordered the good shotgun. Okay. Take our queen plug back. Yeah, we've got space for it. Oh, we could have just ran out the little escape route we gave ourselves intentionally. <laughs> okay. The, like... I get startled by the game every now and then, but you know, you don't get genuinely scared by a game when you've played it this many times. But coming up on where this game breaking bug keeps seems seems to keep happening. Now I'm scared. I feared no G mutant. But that thing and I'm pointing towards the green herb that makes the game crash. That thing, it scares me. Alright, we're gonna hug the right wall. And hope to God that's enough. Just don't acknowledge that that green herb or any of its nonsense is over there. I'm going to try to climb up on this ledge since we know that's worked in the past. Come on, Claire. We're going <laughs> to... Once again, we're not acknowledging it. And this is one of the main reasons I preemptively killed this G. You tant down here, so I ain't got to worry about it. Oh, we're doing it, boys. We're doing it, boys. Not even close. Haha, <laughs> get me to the fucking save point. Okay. We can go ahead and grab this and mix it with this and get some more acid rounds. Look, Billy B, when you fight him uh, in that arena after you get the G-Virus sample, uh, acid rounds are very good against him. They, they always seem to stagger him. Oh, I forgot about you! Not for long. Tell you what, I don't plan on using this fucking thing anymore. Unless, because I don't even know if there are more needles. There might be some. We might manage to find some in the lab. But I don't feel like hauling that fucking thing around all the time. Always be fashion souls. In. I don't think. Was any. I don't even remember what any of that shit is. Fuck it. Don't even worry about it. Get to the item box. Save. 
and then we'll head down to the umbrella lab where hopefully nothing bad will happen you can't really sequence break the umbrella lab unless it gives you like the other clearance chip super early but i don't know if that what well, the likelihood of that happening is uh, we could start making shotgun shells uh we've if we weren't if we never find the magnum i guess we'll just have to spec shotgun okay all of this shit can be stored what are we going to carry around with us in the lab we don't have many 1911 bullets so can't really make that a mainstay weapon hey well, we'll figure out once we get to the lab uh, and see what's in the first rooms Hopefully the fucking Lightning Hawk Magnum. <laughs> and then we'll be fucking set. We could just go the rest. Ugh, we only got one ink ribbon left. Well, we got past a game-breaking lock. So I'm just going to hope we find more ink ribbons. In the laboratory. With the pipe wrench. There actually is a shotgun weapon in Final Fantasy 7, but only Vincent Valentine can equip it. The official Final Fantasy 7 player's guide claims that when you fight Rufus on the roof of the Shinra building uh, towards the end of Midgar at the beginning of the game, it says you can morph him into a shotgun. I'm wondering if they game sharked the morph materia there. Can you even morph bosses in Final Fantasy 7? Who the hell knows? This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Thought there might be thumbnail potential in there somewhere. A sweet, wholesome thumbnail of Claire comforting Sherry. Who knows? Nice. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. Sherry has the bracelet on that makes these first visitor doors open. So technically, she's like a key <laughs> that we're carrying up to the doors. And just like rubbing her against the door until it opens. We just go up to the uh, keypad on the side and just press Sherry's face up against it. And we're like, why isn't the door opening? Well, look at that. We've been gifted the ID wristband. Boys, that bed's in rough shape. Is that all coming out of Sherry? My God. That's like half our blood content. All right, what's in here? Oh, well, hello, Minigun Chan. Now, normally you get this right before Claire's final boss, and it's very useful against him. But I guess if we get into a dicey situation, son, I think this might give us some thumbnail potential, too. I'm going to need a set of stairs, though. <laughs> For no particular reason, I'm just saying. Look, they didn't even have time. He was halfway through a slice of pizza when he saw the shit going down, whoever was sitting there. And I assume he just got up and ran. All right. Oh, man, if we find the uh, reinforced uh, stock for that default Claire handgun, that would be nice since we found some high-grade rounds. Take this with us in case we get grabbed. Oh, wait, we have a... Did I... F I didn't pick that knife up did i no i didn't oh well i'm sure none of y'all screamed at the monitor <laughs> i wasn't picking that knife up so i can't even imagine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if we start making compromises now with our yellow gunpowders we're gonna feel so silly when we find the magnum because i was like i could make a few shotgun shells how many zombies are in that cafeteria that we got to deal with there's one laying unconscious to your right. There's one that comes around the tables. There's a lady to the left eating somebody. There's a dude around the side. You go up through the vents and fall down, and one of Hunk's boys is down there. 
I'm trying to think if that will, if we have enough shotgun shells or I might want to take this one hand grenade just in case. That's my just in case hand grenade. Now let's read this file just because it's dying to be read. Okay. Okay. Hey, idiot. Let's see if I can't, like, aggro all of you into one big, like, region. Alright, if the two of you can come over here near her, because she's, like, the ass eating zombie of the live raid bunch, and, like, nothing will dissuade her. Alright, I think we're, uh, in a good enough situation to throw this. Boom! Who dared survive the grenade? Yeah. Anybody feel like getting up? Didn't think so. Blue herbs are nice, but they're not like hot man. Oh my god. There. Feeling immature, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh. I mean, not a bad thing to find. Any of y'all still jostling around? At least that one zombie died doing what she loved. Eating that other zombie. I'm so used to missing with this uh, long barrel shotgun whenever I'm playing this game for y'all. I get so nervous. Once again, these fucking TVs ain't light. It could be a Trinitron, but from the, the aspect ratio of it, I'm going to say it's a Sony Vega television. Or Vega, if you're from a Nordic part of the world. And your V's and W's are opposite. VW represent Deutschland. Well, I mean, that is an item we needed, so it had to be over here somewhere. All right, Hunk's boy is out here. And Hunk's boy can only be shot in the face. Hunk's boy, are you listening? Hey, buddy. Come in here in the kitchen. Well, I didn't mean fucking sprint in here and burn all the goddamn meter. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. The nap room. Would you ever leave the nap room? If you worked here. Mm-hmm. Of course, we're going to have to come back with the muff detector. Although it's the os detector in the VEASAN area. There's no muff to be found. You're like, oh, I beg the differ. <laughs> Particularly during this playthrough. Okay. Okay, cool. I mean, it's one of the things we've been wanting. The Light Hope Magnum will be the item that replaces the minigun before the final boss. Just watch it happen. If it is, we're going to have some fucking Magnum bullets to put in that boy, I tell you. Oh, what? Remember, we can't save again until we find a first, uh, I was going to say first save spray, an ink ribbon. So let's try not to fuck up too bad. Name five times ten face fucked up when recording a video for y'all. I scarcely believe you'd be capable of doing it. We don't have as much of that high-grade ammo as I had originally hoped. Now that I'm looking at it. But it will give us a sidearm to use against the zombies. All right. Let's put the shotgun on the bottom. There we go. It does give us another gun to float tantalizingly beside our hip. But what can you do? Once again, why are your eyes doing in that region of the screen? This is a stream for mature adults. Thank you. Uh, more potential acid rounds. If we've got enough acid rounds, we can also combine those uh, white gunpowders to make some machine gun bullets. And the submachine gun can prove quite useful. Mainly against regular zombies for blowing their knees off. But then again, that's only if you have the infinite knife. So that once they've been placed on their knees, not by any particular lady from a famous song, <laughs> you can cut them. Alright, as for the gangle men, uh, we've got a couple of flame rounds left. If you reduce their HP all the way down with conventional attacks and then finish them off with the flame round, they'll get all burnt up. 
Okay, so I I was wondering. This is the item we needed to get to the generator room in the police department to get the small gear in the clock tower. I, I read that in the spoiler because I specifically searched <laughs> for it. I didn't look at anything else because I, I, I wanted to give you all a genuine reaction to when I find shit. We could make our grenade launcher a might bit better, I suppose. Let's do that for fun. Maybe we'll miss less now. Okay. So, boom, boom. Still plenty of items to find over here. We're coming up on the first batch of gang on being though, and still no flamethrower. There should be a... Well, I was going to say there should be a lot more flame rounds, but we're playing with uh, ammo types mixed, which means some of the flame rounds we would have found have been replaced by shotgun shells, probably. Which is also a good thing in its own way. Hmm. I want to see what this item lane over here is. I mean, we could run past the ganglemen, but it's very dangerous. Okay, that is something we wanted. Ah, oh, shit. What's the, what's the play? There's a lot more items out there in gangleman territory. Let's grab... Some more flashbangs, because they're not as useful for Claire. You Hoarding flashbangs is good for Leon, because you can use them when you're fighting the Super Mr. X Tyrant at the end. Uh, if you're not bad. <laughs> Doing a no item box, no save playthrough. Um, maybe we should just use our anti-tank missile launcher for uh, killing uh, <laughs> Gangle Men. Damn, if we ever find that fucking flamethrower, damn, we're going to be spoiled. Uh, nah, it's not worth carrying that fucking thing just for one enemy. We're just going to have to try avoiding them. If we get grabbed, we've got four <laughs> uh, get out of gangle free cards. So maybe we can pull it off. Or maybe the flamethrower will just be laying there amongst... The gangle man's items. Pardon me, sir. Can't help but notice you're a gangling. I'll leave you be. Not the kind of lady that would get in, a, in the way of a man's gangling. Just ain't proper. Dispensing solution now. I'm going to assume that that is always the dispensal cartridge. Let's hope it's correct. My psychic powers tell me this is 2048. Look at that, boys. And I'm just going to guess at random. 5830. Oh, wait. Maybe I could do it right. 5831. I'm telling you. It's something. Shotguns are good at disparaging gangle men temporarily. Because remember, if you shoot them in any of their gangle balls, Z, Taikinichi. All right, there is an herb. Laying here, and there's one here. So that's two more items to grab. And then there's some items in this lab. Come on, flamethrower. Please, flamethrower Chan, I need you. There's a gangle man over there. He's just standing there. Gangly! Okay, pardon me, sir. Come on, baby. Oh, God help us. Running, running, running. No! <laughs> Fuck you. Ain't nobody impressed. With that low tier gangles. We could whip up some shotgun shells right quick. If we in a pinch. Uh huh. I don't know how effective acid rounds are against gangle men. I realized I haven't acknowledged acid rounds. Alright. Oh lord. Alright, remember in the B scenario on this one, you just start on blue and keep going left. So blue, red, green, blue, red, green. I'm doing my original Pokemon Trainers tier list. I don't know much about green. I assume there's a trainer named green. In them Pokemans. All right, there's a lot of items down there in the lab area we're headed to. Oh, there's this fucking liquors, too. 
Cool and beans. If you wanna be my, if you wanna be my gangle, you gotta get gangle, man. Fuck all y'all. I oh, know, Claire, sweetheart, climb down the ladder. Cool. What's down here? Good shit. I hope. Yes, excuse me. I ordered the good shit. Oh, we need the muff detector, so. That means we can activate power uh, without having to go over to where the liquors are. That's a good thing. And there's just a few uh, zombies hanging out here that haven't activated yet. So we can preemptively decapitate them and just have the best fucking time. I've got just a little revolver to do it. Christmas fucking morning, boys. Those gangle men are going to be, like, you know, watch out who you gangle back in middle school, son. Because some people grow up to be strong, independent women with flamethrowers. That could apply to uh, Tifa Redfield here or uh, Ellen Ripley. Earth. This setting uh, allows Will Smith to welcome you to the planet you're sitting on. We've done it. And this will give us access to another item box room. Once again, before the fucking liquor menace gets to us. The liquor menace! Oh, that just fucking came out beautifully. Son, that's what my waifu calls me <laughs> after the long weekend. She gets into work at the office and they're like, man, you wore out. What happened? And she's like, I spent all weekend dealing with the liquor menace. Ah, uh, God bless her heart. Okay, we need uh, fuel regulators. We've got to install fuel regulators. Custom flamethrower delivery. we got to move these. Flame canisters. I'm sorry, I, I kind of fell off of the little dire straits thing I was doing. It kind of beat it out a little faster than I expected. We've got, like, just enough materials to make good heals. Since we haven't found an item, a save item, I believe ink ribbons is what they're known as in some cultures yet, I'm going to carry a full heal around with me. Just as a precaution. And keep your flashbangs equipped. I don't know why I became the announcer for the original Team Fortress. Claire Redfield has the flag. I remember playing that back in the day. My favorite thing to do was to be a spy and just feign death. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just found it so entertaining to just lay there and then they run past you and you just stand back up and you're like, good job, idiot. Joke's on you. I was alive the whole time. Do we just want the flamethrower? We're coming up on two liquors. Uh, and the flamethrower, they wouldn't be fond of it. But the problem is, you've also got to get them damaged enough. Because if you're just trying to deep some down with it, they'll just fucking jump all over you. Acid rounds could probably prove quite useful against liquors. I would imagine. They couldn't be fond of it. All right, boom, bop, beep. It's a hell of a fucking inventory we've put together. I ain't got room for nothing. I probably don't need to carry 400 flamethrower fuel around with me, but it's very reassuring. Oh yeah, we still haven't searched this room. The Lightning Hawk Magnum, could it be in this room? Come on, buddy. Oh, good God, nothing but blue herbs all the way down. trying to think what I actually need in this fucking inventory. How many items are we coming up on? There's one in there. There's one upstairs, but there's also an item box upstairs, so that's not a big deal. Alright, remember, we've got the jump on the liquors, because they'll come out of the ceiling vent, but they won't immediately be aware of us if we're not running. Oh, there's a green herb sitting over here, too. Please don't be a game-crashing green herb. Please be a light hawk magnum. Boys, Claire Redfield, like in between uh, these recording sessions, she must have been eating the most vegetables because she's been real good and got that good shit for Christmas. Well, fuck this. Grenade launcher, boys. 
I've got that good shit. I've got that magnum. I've got that long barrel red dot sight for my magnum. Okay. Pal. Pop. And maybe just a handful of mixing these here together. Boom. Boom. It's finally fading off. Everything's finally coming up magnum. They told me I was a fool for investing everything in Magnum Futures. They're like, you're going to be stuck holding them fucking 50 AE uh, bags, son. Kyle Redfield's got Magnum holding diamond hands. Ooh. Hell yeah. We're going to have to work a thumbnail out of this somehow. All right, liquors. Barely known in nature. Oh no, I'm quite startled. You did me a big frighten. Oh, oh, oh. Look who got fucking smoked, boys. Where's your friend at? Oh, I bet he falls down later. Uh, in a uh, homage to the original where the liquors would fall out of the laboratory ceiling. I guess I'll take another red herb. Jesus Christ. That lady doesn't get up if you don't mess with her. Dr. Lee, you're very good at turning me on. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Norm I mean, Claire, uh, when she comes in here in her cannon outfit, she's just in like a t-shirt and jeans. So, I guess it's... Still would be fairly cold. Complete. Of course, Tifa goes through the whole fucking Great Glacier dress like this. So, stop complaining. It's like if you dare to say it's cold on the internet. If you're like, man, it's cold today. People from the fucking heart of Antarctica <laughs> will immediately post to be like, my face win. Uh, negative 17, Kelvin. That's not cold. I don't even know if that is cold. I heard anger noises. Ain't you fucking pretty, boy? I've got six and nine bullets, son. The powerful combination. Anyone want to fall down? Johnny Cage up there giving you all of us. Uh, let's preemptively blow your fucking head off. How about that, buddy? Ooh. Yeah, that's fucking satisfying, boys. Okay. Oh, someone's preemptive gangle. I've got something for you. Ooh, 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 I ain't even got to be, you know, normally I tap it when I'm trying to conserve every fucking drop of it, but we've got so much. We're like Chevy Chase and Three Amigos with that flask of water, son. We're just living it up with this fucking thing. We're going to get the best fucking Gang of Man revenge. There's a lady up here. She needs a magnum bullet. And I'm to just a gal to give it to her. Boom, I always miss. I always miss. Why do I always fucking miss? See, it was for the song. Another flashbang. Another number one jam. Alright, this is where you would normally obtain some muff detector. Oh, well, we're opening a shortcut door. Yeah. What if we don't find any more ink ribbons for the rest of the game? I just thought about that. Mm. Alright, let's go degangle that area out there real quick. Which means we can store uh, quite a bit of this stuff. All of our dreams came true in the Umbrella Laboratory today, boys. <laughs> like how he died holding that good shit. He died holding a first edition fucking Charizard. I wish I knew what happened to my Pokemon cards. I thought I'd find them in that storage shed adventure. But they didn't seem to be in there. Or they were like way in the back. So, I don't know. You have watched Ten Face Nostalgic Storage Shed Adventure, have you not? 
That's right. I gangled your fan. He's like, <laughs> she burned that gang of man, and now she's gonna burn me. Oh my god, he fucking burned all kinds of cooldowns to get over there to me, and it wasn't even enough. So fucking satisfying, guys. I tell you. I feel like the way we came across this flamethrower would have been like an actual, like in an actual video game like this, uh, you would introduce enemies like that in an area and you had to like avoid them or just incapacitate them. And then afterwards you would get the flamethrower and come back and get revenge. So we've added the best uh, narrative to the playthrough. Dispense. Now we could go out there and get the chip. I assume that chip stays the same item, uh, because unlike Leon, uh, Mr. X doesn't reappear here in Claire scenario, because spoilers, we watched Billy B tear a fucking chunk out of him. Two gangle boys for the price of one! It's a good day. I love the smell of burnt <laughs> gangle man ass in the morning. Oh no, once again, he was enraged seeing what was happening to his gangle brethren, and he fucking burned Sprint to get over here to us. Used a swiftness potion. He'd already drank his dragon breath chili and used a flask of titans. He even had the anixia buff. All of these jokes are for Brian Lee. Or I guess anyone else who played classic World of Warcraft. I suppose Brian Lee's not the only one on earth who ever played <laughs> classic World of Warcraft. I'd like to get the two of you at the same time. Is that possible? Seems you can't shoot it in increments of one. Like every time I tap it, two come out. Um, the only other real benefit to having all this flame fuel is we could, uh, Billy B. We could just <laughs> unload uh, acid rounds and flamethrower in him. He wouldn't have a good time. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't bring the little bracelet with me. How embarrassing. All right. All right. Sometimes they add an additional gangle man in this room just for Claire. Since she doesn't have to deal with Mr. X. And there he is. Shit. <laughs> I'd like to think she said shit because the door shut. I'm probably shooting more flame fuel than I actually even have to, <laughs> but it's just so satisfying. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, that's right. Full. Get all burned up. What do you think of the difficulty curve of this particular randomizer? It started out kind of rough. We were like counting on every handgun bullet and shit there towards the beginning. But here at the end, we've become quite powerful. Alright, if we're going uh, headed over to Billy B Town, there's not actually any enemies along the way. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, we do want to go use up the muff detector, though. And there will be enemies in that region. So I guess we'll take our fucking Lightning Hawk Magnum, God. Just to make us look cool. I think it looks cooler without the scope on it. But I appreciate that the scope, you know, wherever that red dot is, you hit. I'm real bad at it. In my defense, if the enemy's not moving, I have like an 80% <laughs> chance to land an attack. So it's better than zero, right? Oh yeah, no flamethrower on her back. Now's our chance to get that lightning hawk thumbnail potential. YouTube couldn't get too mad at me, right? I told myself on this recording session I was going to can it with the quote-unquote cinematic camera angles, but then I realized I'd be doing all of y'all a disservice. So, never say I don't give the people what they want. I'm just imagining all the angry fucking comments screaming about God knows what. 
Ramza Must Die. Standard Issue Thief, Dark Souls 3. Standard Issue Pyromancer, Dark Souls 2. Son, all of these things haunt me. You're like, then why don't you just record them? I'm like, wow, there's a lot of different factors in it. I feel like I was in this same area in the No Item Box, No Save playthrough when I started making excuses on why I'm so bad <laughs> and making the videos y'all want. It's just tradition now when you're in the Umbrella Lab. Us. Well, there is the fucking suppressor for our damn uh, Mac 11. We finally found it. That probably, I mean, I think it stabilizes the shots. I don't know how well suppressing the noise does anything. Maybe it makes Mr. X less likely to notice you. I honestly don't know. Uh, the main shaft. I'm telling you, this game is so immature. I know I don't have the good ID bracelet chip. You ain't got to remind me every time I walk by. What's one of Hunk's boys got for us? Shotgun shells? Shotgun shells? Son, he knew what he was doing. You're like, yeah, he hoarded all the shotgun shells. This one's got to be set to Oz. This one's got to be set to Paws, not Maws. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come on. Get wiggly. We're up all night to get wiggly. We're close, boys. The wiggle must fly. There we go. And bop. I believe that's the last use of the thing. Eh, let's just store it. Never know when we need to detect a little bit more. Mo. Man, I'd really like an ink ribbon uh, before I go to fight Billy B. I'm not saying I'm guaranteed to fuck it up, but the chance is not zero. Damn. Damn. How many ink ribbons have I left? <laughs> I didn't re-get everything in the sewers, so there might have been some in there. Who knows? Let's just not fuck up and let's have the game not crash. And then we just won't have to worry about it. Alright, don't grab the G-Virus just yet. Because you could still leave this area if you haven't taken it. Green herbs are good, but ink ribbons are better. I go so far as to say they're more better. Why? Okay. They fucking felt bad for me. Am I at full health? I am. Okay. Let's do some inventory micromanagement or macro management as we go about this. Let's go ahead and start mixing. Well, we don't really need to mix any ammos right now. Okay, we know we're going to use a lot of acid rounds and flamethrower against this motherfucker. You could be made into a full heal. You could be made into a full heal. There's a bunch of items down there in Billy's arena. So keep that in mind. As far as guns and shit... You and you and you would be a good fucking combination. And I don't think we'll need to reload the Magnum as often. So we don't I'm not gonna bring any of the Magnum ammo just to free up a space. Boom boom. Since we can save, I'm not as worried about fucking things up. So. With this setup, we won't need to run around and grab items from the arena as frequently. He might grab us, so. That'll be good to get him off our fucking back. Alright, cool. The game plan will be acid round to stun him. Magnum to bust his fucking eyeballs. And flamethrower just to burn him up. Just to make him seething, boys. 
We get in there and start telling him about how Halo invented FPS and asking him why Metroid can't crawl. All we have to do is walk in there and tell him Last of Us 2 didn't deserve to win all them Game of the Year awards and Billy V will so be so fucking seething. Thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Oh yeah, we need uh, a fucking wristband. <laughs> so we're allowed to leave. Forgot about that part. Forgot about that key item. If Claire had been wielding the lightning hawk in that cutscene, it'd have made a very good th potential thumbnail. Bustin' Billy's eyeballs, and he can't fuck do shit. Bustin' Billy's eyeballs, he just don't know when to quit. I can't fucking hit nothing! Excuse me, Billy, I need to slap an ass around this motherfucker. I'm not being bad at the game, Billy, you're just being difficult. Why don't you just real quick to recover? Even mid fucking swing, boys, he can't get you. I hit him, technically. <laughs> Y'all can't give me too much shit. I hit him a little bit. Oh, it's so easy. Burning Billy up. Burning Billy up. I just love burning Billy up. He can't be enjoying this. Hopefully he's not. Getting him ready for when he gets to hell. He'll already have all kinds of pre-experience getting burned up. Don't get mad at me just because you're big and chunky and flamethrowerable. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, idiot. I, I thought I had the magnum equipped, in all honesty. <laughs> that's on me. Boom! Having fun, Bill? Having a good time, Bill? Hmm? Hmm? He's not. I can tell. I think he's in genuine mad mode. If he goes over there to grab that fucking thing, we know he's mad. Yeah, he's mad. He always throws it down the middle, I believe, so we should be able to just sit here and deplete his fucking HP in real time. Alright, let's get an acid around ready for when he comes over here to give us our comeuppets. Our comeuppets! I got it. <laughs> I told you, son. It was nothing to worry about. We had the most broken anti-Billy arsenal. Target has been neutralized. Ending quarantine. Let's see what good shit Billy had in his lair. He's like a dragon, son, and this is the gold he was sitting on. More magnum bullets could be crafted. Flame rounds could be quite useful. We are going to encounter a few more gangle men before the end. Uh, I want all this shit, but I know I ain't gonna have room for all of it. Oh no. That hand grenade's just gone. Okay, we gotta be careful. We might lose shit forever. Service lift is now we don't have easy access to an item box. Because as soon as we leave up the elevator, we can't go back to the previous item box because it's like up there. Um, So... Or is it up there? Oh, excuse me. I'm doing this wrong. Is it up? <laughs> there. Um, so what should we do? What's the play, as always? Throw these away. Just so we can't permanently miss something good. I mean, green herbs are okay, but I think I might have enough. 
Once again, hopefully Henry of Henry and Margaret fame is not watching this part. Yeah, anything we don't grab it in uh, actively here just gets consumed by the aether. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I don't know how effective acid rounds are against the final Billy Birkin fight. Fuck you, Red Herb. Um, 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 um. Have we checked everything? The room's gonna be permanently red because of those items that, uh, Ben Powell decided we're not allowed to have. Not that I'm bitching and moaning. Technically, I'm doing quality assurance for free. Like the Jannies. Is that everything to be had down here? It seems like it. I guess we'll just go beat the game. Gosh. Gee whiz, y'all. Take fun out of fucking everything. Gotta get back to Sherry. We do. We do gotta get back to Sherry. Alright, what's our final inventory gonna be? For getting through this shit. What kind of gunpowders did we end up with here towards the end of the game? Uh, da, da, da. I think we don't really need any more acid rounds. Uh... Against the, Billy's final form, the day, it's more about busting his eyeballs on his chest. Because he has like a ridiculous HP. So, oh god. Unintentional glottal error. I hate to get so unprofessional right here at the end of the playthrough, y'all. We, we do got to get past a handful of gangle men before we make it out of here. So some anti-gangle man measures should probably be taken. And we'll get one final item box before the final boss, so just store that shit for now. Oh yeah, we've, we need to use that missile launcher up on the boss too. I mean, it'll be useful, it'll bust his fucking eyeballs. I don't think it kills him super fast uh, like you would expect, just because um, you're only really hurting him by busting the eyes on his chest. Have I reiterated that enough for y'all? Where is my fucking grenade launcher? There you are. Get that one damn acid round out. And this should give us enough room to grab the majority of the items uh, along the way. We did use up all of our excess flame fuel, uh, thorough fuel, I believe, so good. You can't take it with you, right, Hunk's boy? I'll tell Hunk you said hey. Hunk will know it's a lie, though, because he knows that you're just not that polite. Go watch Annette try to pretend. <laughs> try to convince Sherry she's not a shitty mother right before she dies. She's like, I know I ditched you all the time so me and your dad could go make horrific viruses that <laughs> kill thousands of people. But, you know, I took you to Sonic that one time. I let you get the big tater tots just that once. Sherry, can you walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but... I don't want to rush you, but we've got to finish this fucking playthrough. It's going to be nine hours long. I'm thinking of actually uploading it in segments. Instead of just one big, like, five or six hour video. Could you even imagine? Let's get the hell out of here. So how are you holding up, champ? My flamethrower is cliffing through my titties. How embarrassing. All right. Attention. 
wait, this is the better. You gotta always be fashion souls in ya. <laughs> Boys, the lighting in this elevator is not very complimentary to the seam on Claire's neck. Tell you what, let's just <laughs> put our attention elsewhere. Uh, even when we're trying to be sentimental with Sherry, I've got to be immature. I'm sorry, y'all. I hope your grandma, I hope this isn't the one playthrough you finally went to show your grandma. She'd be like, oh, is he always so tall? I just realized I put all this submachine gun ammo in my inventory and no submachine gun. I don't even need Chris Tucker here to point out how ridiculous the concept that is. The quick draw army. Well, hot damn. <laughs> right when I needed it at the end of the fucking game. All right. Couple two tree gangle men down here, but they ain't no problem for me. I'm familiar with gangle men and their horse shit. I know how to counteract it. I know how to counter gangle. <laughs> she did that right when Sherry walked in the way so that I wasn't because when you aim a gun at a friendly target it like won't let you it makes you stop aiming so <laughs> right when Sherry walked across she was like son of a bitch are you done are you gonna get up is he not active yet Sherry, okay god fuck you gang old man nobody's impressed with your nonsense oosh Hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, your nonsense. Yeah, the flame actually got to him. It didn't use up my grenade. The flame got to him first. Uh, there's no reason not to grab it. All right. So in this room, Sherry's got to crawl around this wall to unlock the door. But in the meantime, there are gang on me in a foot. Whatever will we do? Of course. The stupid thing's locked. Hold on. I think they're. Can you see them where they fall down from? Yep. I wonder if you can hit them from here. Look at this fucking tendrils of nonsense. I, th I don't think one flame round's enough to kill one outright. You've usually got to use two. Unless, you know, you happen to have a chemical flamethrower. If you've planned ahead. Remember that fable, the, the squirrel and the grasshopper? Good lord, get off of my dick! It's pretty much the last of the gang of Heakins, so I ain't too worried about giving him the business. I think there's one zombie coming up we've got to deal with. So even if I didn't have flamethrower fuel to burn him up with, I've got a flashbang. This place has turned into an OSHA fucking nightmare, boys. I see you're already on fire. Let me add to that. Just use up the rest of the length there fuel for fun. What if I turn around and there was an army of gang on the end, boys? I'd be so discouraged. You keep it up? Okay. Final item box. Let's see. What are we going to take for Billy B's final form? I'm thinking some machine gun and magnum. He wouldn't be fond of them. Boom. Boom. You and you. I'd leave enough room for just a couple of heels, just a handful of heels for the road. Hey, well, once we reload this uh, machine gun, we'll have another open slot. Uh, oh, excuse me, one bullet left. Oh, and once we reload this magnum, we'll have even more open slots. Oh, is that the? Fuck! I grabbed the. Damn it! I mean, it doesn't really matter. It lowers our rank, which I wasn't planning. I mean, I've already saved a hundred fucking times, but I grabbed the uh, the infinite. A submachine gun and not the one we found. Where is... Okay. That's probably why, because for some reason the graphics of it is bugged. 
Now y'all can be like, uh, play through fucking ruined. Didn't realize Tenfei was a, a dirty cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Just as I suspected of Tenfei all along. Uh, we do want to be able to save and flashbang. Saves and flashbangs. Uh, there might not be a save point now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, maybe there's not. We'll just operate on the assumption that there's not and take another heal with us. God, this inventory is fucking ugly mess. I can't have it. I won't have it. There you go. That's a little bit more stylized. Yeah. 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 I think we might have just enough. I think your daddy. Uh, we might be able to have a... Con oh, wait. I need two inventory slots open to pick up those fucking plugs. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I refuse to compromise any of my weapons. Honestly, we probably don't need that submachine gun. Oh, fuck it. You and you. <laughs> I'm not taking any fucking chances. I'll be curious to see. What do you think the mini gun is going to be? I'm guessing another fucking herb. But we'll find out real quick, won't we? Oosh. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. Good for you, Sherry. Oh, imagine that. Damn if we it disappeared into the aether. working. Claire! What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think, I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon. Leon! Damn! There you go. I thought we could share a little moment with Leon. Billy B, what are you doing up there, you fucking nut? Get down from there before you get hurt. Why can't you just die? Seriously. How many rockets it gonna take to humble you today, Billy B? Get down from there, you nut! Wow, that one rocket didn't actually knock him off. Well, shit. Billy V's mad. I know. I forgot when he charges like that, you need to be near an edge so you can get around. Real fucking mature climbing up the walls, Billy. That's what I fucking thought. You shit heel. God, what am I hung on? <laughs> World geometry is my only enemy. I thought he was going to climb up the walls for a second. 
Ironically, the Magnum's not the best weapon against him because you're, like I said, you're just trying to bust them eyes. But it's still very satisfying to have. Oh, come on, Billy B. Why'd that hit me? You're fucking cheating. Cheating Billy B. Never knew. That's what I was going to have to call you. Submachine gun? It's good for popping them eyes. I didn't bother putting the suppressor on it uh, because we needed the inventory space for more heals, I believe. Okay, good. We got him on his knees, son. The spirit of Layla is giving us power over Billy B now. Well, fuck it. Now that he can't jump around, let's use the stand magnet. Come on, Billy. Don't make me feel bad for you. And he's dead. He died of sadness. What's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Sai! Take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad. Oh, yeah. Claire! Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Who's this? This? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus! What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, yeah. I forgot the beast in the area has a little, uh... You gotta do the little thing on the train. Uh, we found us another b board cube. Alright, what are we gonna take for the final, final Billy B? I thought there was another item laying over here. I was wrong. Alright. Let's you know, might as well mix mix them if you got them, boys. Uh, well, I say that, but I don't really have anything extra, do I? It's pretty much a scripted fight, anyway. We're just gonna shoot him in the eye over and over with this magnum. In fact, why take anything else? We're just gonna take the magnum and all these fucking heels that we've hoarded the whole playthrough. Of course, even if it's the final encounter, that doesn't mean you can have a sloppy inventory, y'all. So, just think about it. And one green herb. <laughs> We're going to be taking a lot of damage in this final fight, boys. Apparently is what I'm predicting. Let's get this shit done. Oh, there was one more item. The last Borg cube, son. Can't really hurt him until that eyeball appears, but it's very satisfying to shoot him regardless.
Turns into silent fucking heal right here at the end of the game. Boyfriend and girlfriend? No, we're just. Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look, he might be able to give us a ride. <sighs> what if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Come on. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh. you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot. I always wanted pets, but my mom's allergic to us. Huh. Uh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. <laughs> there you go, son. You can tell, the only way you can tell Hunk is mad is his knee pads start phasing. Because that man was so rude when he tried by. Alright, let's see what our terrible uh, score is. Oh, a B. Lord help me. Boys, we're going to lose our video game privileges. At least on the weekdays. Well, that was fun. We kind of patched it together, but we had some fun, shared a few laughs. We were all mature adults together, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm not sure what my next Resident Evil 2 based thing will be. Or maybe I could play a different Resident Evil game. Is that even possible? 